Some sad news tonight. Another New York City police officer has taken his life. The second NYPD suicide in two days. The police commissioner has declared a mental health crisis in his department. And he spoke today with our Jeff Pegues. Robert Echeverria died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound at home last night. The 25-year veteran officer suicide came a little more than 24 hours after a 35-year-old officer took his own life. Commissioner James O'Neill is still struggling with the news. You know, you think, that, okay, this is going to be the last one. And, and last night, I got a phone call, and I just did it, it. It just almost knocked me down. I just took the wind right out of me. I just, you know, you know uh, what the hell's going on here? So far this year, there have been nine NYPD suicides, seven since June. Last year, there were a total of four. There's people out there that love you, that want to help you, but uh, unless you come forward, unless your partner says something or friend, we're not going to know. What New York City is experiencing is part of a nationwide trend in policing. Since January, there have been at least 125 officers who've died by suicide. According to one study, cops are 30% more likely to die by suicide than the general public. Police departments like the NYPD are expanding the safety net by offering more counseling and avenues for officers to seek help anonymously. We don't know why Nick did what he did. Doug Budney's son Nick, a 14-year NYPD officer, took his own life last year. I just think it was a bad last decision that he made with not thinking all the way through what all the ramifications to everyone else. Nora, today in a profanity-laced statement, the police union was critical of how the city has responded to these suicides. And it accused the NYPD of destroying the careers of officers who reach out for help. Jeff Pegues, our thoughts are with their families. Thank you.